and we are still stuck in a lockdown. Yep, it's the middle of June uh, 2020. Uh, still in the pandemic, stuck in Goa. And we're in August, Goa, 2020. Still here. You can all hear all the birdies. Now we are in uh, middle of September and we're back. It's been a couple of weeks since we shot any uh, Forking Around series. About two and a half weeks ago, my wife woke up with a little uh, so, you know, sore throat. And uh, we didn't want to take any chances. We had been meeting a few friends. Um, so we decided it would be best if we get tested. Uh, we found out a private clinic uh, and we asked them to come over. It was super efficient. Um, I think the guy showed up in, in 45 minutes to the house and uh, we did a, a swab test. So this test is called a RT-PCR. Uh, it's the most definitive way to find out if you're COVID positive or not. We had a plan to meet up with some friends, have them over for dinner to this house. We did inform them that, look, there is, uh, we've done this test. Uh, we are waiting for it, but we don't think it's gonna come positive. Well, it turns out we got the report on Friday saying uh, the test was positive. So we, we informed everybody, cancel the party, obviously. And everybody handles these things differently, right? The community that we were living in, we had, we had moved out a couple of days earlier. Some of them were really worried as they should be. Some of them just panicked, absolutely just batshit crazy panic, especially the management committee. It was just vilification. So the protocol in Goa, once you test positive, is you have to go to the health center or inform them, your local panchayat health center. A designated nurse and a doctor is assigned to you and they call you in the evenings uh, to check up on your temperature, your pulse rate, and the oxygen levels in your blood. We went to the, to the COLM Health Center and I decided to get a test along with the kids. Turns out I came back uh, COVID positive as well. The kids, however, negative. I have comorbidities, right? I am overweight. Uh, you know, this is the big forkers after all. Luckily, I do not have diabetes, but I do have hypertension. I also have a neuro uh, neurological uh, issue, other than being slightly and obviously crazy. An important note, just because one person shows symptoms earlier, um, however light, does not mean that they are the vectoring uh, agent, right? It could be, it could have been me, I could have gotten anywhere and Nino got it from me. She just showed symptoms sooner. So Nino got it right after she found out she was positive. She had a light fever, very slight uh, throat irritation. This continued for a couple of days uh, and then the fatigue sort of wore off. Me on the, at, while this entire thing, completely asymptomatic. I had one day when I reached a temperature of 99.2 I felt a little fatigued. I just watched more Netflix. What we also did was, and we were lucky, and I understand this is gonna sound slightly douchey. We have a sauna at home. We just crank it up, we sit in there. We were doing this at least twice or thrice a day, one at a time and then taking a quick swim immediately after that. It's really great, it shocks the system. Your endorphins are rush. Um, you feel uh, energetic and every time we swam, uh, we were testing our meters, our oxygen levels were much higher. So exercising and keeping active as much as you can, working your way through the fatigue, uh, really helped us. And then over a few days, we started feeling no symptoms at all. The rules in Goa are 17 days uh, of isolation. Uh, we've now been in for 15, we've got two more days, I have three days, and then I think we get a certificate of all clear. I'm gonna talk a little bit about how good the service and how wonderful uh, the people here in Goa have been about this. So first, where we're staying, the staff have been wonderful. Immediately when we found out, we spoke to the management and we decided not to let them come inside the house. They've been cooking, leaving it outside. We're keeping minimum contact with each other. Just the CLM Health Center has been incredible. The level of service and commitment of the health services is just incredible. And it's a thankless, thankless job. Uh, they don't have enough uh, protection. Uh, they don't have enough rest. As in India and how this crisis has been unfolding, it's an absolute shit show. It's just, it's unbelievable how badly this has been handled. They had the public jumping up and down because they, they made certain rules. They had a lockdown, then they opened it up, and then they have another lockdown, not giving people enough time. They left migrants out. We were involved in helping migrants. Uh, get food and resources and then they opened it up and let everybody just run helter-skelter which has put India in uh, the second highest number of cases without naming names we know for a fact that 
certain administrations, state administrations, are definitely, definitely underreporting uh, numbers. But you know, nothing we can do about that at this point. Maybe I'll show this uh, beautiful place. Right, so this is our pool. That's a attached cottage to the house. The house is behind us. This is the back entrance of the house. We have a family of uh, two sets, two troops on either side of uh, Langurs. We have a family of chipmunks that come visit us, the, the neighborhood dogs that you heard that visit us, a lot of reading, a lot of Netflixing, you know. What else are you gonna do? We don't watch a lot of news because have you ever turned on the news in India? It is absolutely bat shit crazy. Uh, we've got this place for the next few months. Oh, the monkeys are here. So what are we doing with forking around? I've been challenged by Chef Sifa to do the kaprao. We've got staff around. We didn't want them to get sick. If I can't, and if the producers keep yelling at me to do this, um, our wonderful team in um, Bombay that has been so patient, um, I might just shoot it here with an induction cooker. It's gonna be slightly shit, but you know, something's better than nothing. So this slightly long video was my little chat about COVID. Um, I don't think anybody needs to hide anything about it, right? The more you hide it, the more it spreads. Uh, people have this uh, fear uh, about it. And some of it is ridiculous. I actually had you know, a s situation where I had to pick up somebody, something and they were afraid of even leaving it close to me. It's not radioactive. It's not like billowing out of anybody's nose. Don't freak out. It is the new way of life. And uh, the best of luck.